Charterman, Charterman, Rhyme, Charterman, 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 Rhyme, Reading comics, Twitter, Hell of Six, Hell of Wackin' It, Take a Bad Hit, Take a Bad Hit, Charterman, Subscribe, Machine for Domains. And yes, you can see their fist bumping right there. Hey! What's up, you guys? Short Miss Prime here doing another Transformers figure review on the Transformers Classics Breakdown, or what he's actually called, he's a fan's project, not Breakdown, also known as Car Crash, California Route 09, or CA09. Yeah, I'm making up my own names. Uh, gotta give a big thanks to Incline Designs for reminding me about this figure being available to pick up at the San Jose Toy Show, I picked up a whole mess of figures over there, and this was the holy grail of them all. Uh, as soon as I saw pictures for this guy, I was like, oh my god, I have to have him. I have a special connection to Breakdown, which I'll explain a little bit more later. But if you want to pick this guy up and the rest of the Menasaur combiner figures that are coming out, uh, then I suggest you go to Toy Arena. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hold on. Okay, now, this is a really cool third-party figure with a cool third-party box with some cool third-party artwork right there. Looking pretty damn sharp. There it is. California 09. And then there's another picture of Breakdown. And then and you can see him there and there and there. And he comes with a card, as most of these do. Uh, Masterpiece figures come with cards. A lot of these third parties come with cards. And... I really like this one because it has like this whole story thing going on right here. Hopefully that's legible enough, but if you want to read it, hit the pause button now. And here's his instruction booklet, which is pretty nifty, and it shows how you can transform him into his car mode, and then you can transform him back into his robot mode. So, I absolutely love this figure. I really, really dig it a lot. I'm super excited about it. Um, but, one thing I would like about this figure a little bit more is if he was taller, if he was larger in scale. This figure stands, I guess, like up to his head is about 5 inches. So, you know, you can barely see the 5-inch mark right there. Uh, so, actually, his head is below the 5-inch mark. But, you know, you're looking at basically a 5-inch figure. I wish we had something a little bit bigger, to be honest. You can see him compared to the Masterpiece Lambor and the Transformers uh, Classics or uh, Reveal the Shield Jazz. If you don't have that Jazz figure, you have to get it. That's pretty accessible. But, yeah. But Jazz and Breakdown are pretty w much in scale with each other if you compare them to their G1s. If you compare them like that, you know, this is definitely a classic scale figure. You can see how much shorter this G1 Breakdown down is and I think they really just hit it with the color scheme and everything going on on this guy it very much reminds me of the G1 breakdown which is the only Menasaur piece I still have from back in the day I had all of Menasaur from when I was a kid and uh, this is the only one that I've actually been able to keep intact the rest of them are lost and then I actually have Wild Rider but he's missing an arm so this is the only one that is intact and it just really holds a special place in my heart that I have this breakdown it is so badass this is just one of those figures that like holding it it brings back that nostalgia feeling and it dude, it makes you want to cry man I love you breakdown oh my god that head sculpt is awesome now I typically hate yellow eyes on Decepticons but for this you know I'll make the exception and be cool with it close comparison to the G1 version so yeah the silver paint apps are put in the right place and everything the hole in dick is in the right place and everything so yeah it's looking really good yeah this G1 version does have a visor instead of eyes but in the cartoon I remember him looking more like this damn I love the paint on this it is very clean the apps came out perfect man I love these wheels right here half of that wheel spins the other half does not I'll show more of that later the plastic that fans project uses is actually pretty strong so I'm really happy about that the gun even looks really cool that splits into two pieces I'll show that later in the transformation here's more of his torso which looks really sick I just can't stop looking at this part it's just so badass you have these different colors of gray and silver going on the whole figure it's just really cool he has a big hole where his dick is supposed to be but I guess that's okay because it is a transformer and he's not supposed to have a dick anyway. But damn, very cool. I like how the hood of the figure transforms into his feet. That's very nice. You have no weird, crazy open gaps or anything. You know, he has like a little bit of a backpack, but to me it's not so bad. I think it's actually 
pretty badass. I really love this figure. So his articulation is sweet. I really like the articulation on this. His head does tilt up a little bit, so you can see it move up like that. His head does move down a little bit more than that. His head moves side to side. He's got these cool shoulder joints that right, well he has like an armpit joint right here. Oh, and his head does move side to side, by the way, like that as well, which I really like. But his armpit joint moves outward like this, and it moves forward on this ball joint, and you could like turn it inside out like that inward and outward I mean and he has a bicep swivel up here he has a really solid 90 degree well it's actually a little bit less than 90 degrees which is good on his elbow joint I like that he has a wrist swivel right here and both of his hands are kinda like in this you know about to hold a gun and pull the trigger kinda mode I dig that so it's pretty much the same sculpt it's actually a different color blue right here than it is right here which I'm totally cool with he has a waist joint right here he has great leg articulation his hips move all the way out like that they move all the way forward like so he has an upper thigh swivel right here he has a great joint at the knee that is fantastic that is very very cool and then his ankle articulation is great too he has this ball peg right here that this is attached to and even though you have all this stuff right here you can move it around a bit it just does take a little bit of finesse you know you don't want to be rough with moving the ankles around and you can point it downward you can point it upward he does have a little bit of an ankle pivot it doesn't pivot inward as much as it does outward but it still pivots well so I really like that a lot I'm really really happy with the way they added these spurs these heel spurs in the back so that he, he's really really stable there's no metal on this guy whatsoever but I'm totally cool with it I'm really not missing it at all so let's get on to the transformation would you take us away bumblebee alright thank you sir we want to take these pieces right here on his shoulders make sure they're facing inward and his arms are gonna just push in right here around the elbow so we could sink those in and go in like that that's not too hard and go in like this and that's not too hard either and then there's these tabs right here you can see that slot right there and there's that tab sticking out right there and you want this to all connect nicely and yeah so there's that one kind of yeah I'm still seeing a little bit of a gap here and I definitely do have that one that arm pushed in all the way then his back piece is gonna fold backwards right here and then this is where you're gonna have you can see these tabs sticking out one right there one right there on both sides and they're gonna go into these slots that are open and it's just try to kinda tricky for me anyway to get that assembled but of course for the sake of the review it's just gonna happen very easily yeah oh yeah that was pretty damn easy look at that now I just look like a little Bitch. Then you want to take his waist and move that out, and then spin it around, do a 180, and then here's his feet area, so you want to pull this heel thing down, and then connect it like so. You want to make sure that this piece is underneath this piece, or you're going to break it, so then we can put it together like that. So once you have this connected right here, you kind of want to make sure you have enough room where you can sneak your finger in there and pull the wheel out and then shift all of this into place and there's this tab right here that you can push it in like so and you just go do the same thing to the other side and then you want to pull this flap up like so over here and do the same thing over here pull this flap out and then this piece right here on the inside of his leg is going to fold inward there's a toilet and there's a little tab inside there that's hooked onto the gray piece so you want to remove that and let that slide forward and this will collapse in and then close this shut like that and rotate it back the other way because you weren't supposed to do that the first time and fold this in over on this side as well and close the flap down over here and push this all together and then you pretty much got it it's just now you gotta get this whole mess just a little tight and that's pretty much it it's not too bad of a transformation actually there's still a little bit of gap going on right here but if you squeeze it all in get it all nice and tight oh this is so sick I just think this is beautiful man not bad at all man very very cool um, I really like how the tailpipes work out with the gun you have some uh, red tail lights right here you have his license plate I wish this was actually white though that's a minor nitpick of mine it would have been a lot cleaner I think if this was just all white going across the top right here 
Now this piece right here, I was never a huge fan of. I wish it came as a sticker because I remember when I was a kid even, I avoided putting the sticker on this one because I thought it looked cooler just being an all white and blue car. I just feel like that orangish red was out of place. Now it is cartoon accurate to have the orangish red right here or the red I guess with the Decepticon logo sitting right in the middle. I'd prefer to have it in the middle and then cut the repro label. I like the silver right here. It's got this futuristic look going on. I really, really like it. Uh, I just think this is so cool. And here's the bit I was telling you about these wheels. It's just his head looks so funny in there. But these wheels, they're half wheels, man. So you don't lose any of the rolling ability and everything. I just think that's a work of genius. And it rolls so well. I'm having so much fun with my breakdown figure. They just jump on their own and everything, you know what I mean? And they could do your Tokyo Drift if you want. Or you can have it driving away from you. You can have it driving towards you. One thing I have to throw out there that I think is kind of neat because I've never seen it before is sparkles in the black paint. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while now, you know I'm a big fan of the sparkly paint. And this sparkly black paint trips me out, man. It looks like stars or something. I Silver on the hubcaps look really nice. Just the paint apps are very clean. I'm just really happy with this overall. Just a great figure. Here's not breakdown with my mistransformed classics jazz. Yeah, I didn't finish really transforming it because I didn't want to spend all night doing that and this piece right here isn't where it's supposed to be and now because of that this back is all you get the idea how large he is. So I've seen pictures online and his foot mode is basically the same thing as his car mode except it looks like the back parts are like split up a little bit but he does connect to the motor master piece through the exhaust pipes right over here and then there's like a separate foot piece that he connects to somehow I guess he probably plugs in with these two pieces going on right here definitely get this figure he runs about oh shoot I think it's like 90 bucks everywhere the cheapest place you can get it though is toy arena as far as I know right now anyway so toy arena is a place to go go check it out link in the description to toy arena and hope you guys like my review and I will catch you later peace <laughs>